What is going on YouTube? Old Tom Rambler 69. Gonna do a quick mail call and then we're gonna give you the final reveal on the uh, Ed Roth Outlaw Tea Bucket and the uh, Rat Fink. This is the group build that was being put on by Brent over to Adventure Time RC. First up, got a shop card in. We got Jeff's card over at 48 Jethro 79. That's his uh, his car, 48 Ford. Looks awesome. Great looking card. Love the car. And uh, Jeff's a great guy. And uh, we look forward to meeting up with him. He only lives about two and a half hours from me. So if we ever get a model show again, uh, we'll get to meet up. So anyway, we appreciate it, buddy. We'll get you up here on the board. Thank you, Jeff. So let's show you guys what we come up with here. I think she turned out all right. So there we go. Here's the Ed Roth Outlaw Tea Bucket. And uh, we got the Rat Fink there behind it. And I think it come out okay. So uh, tell you a little bit about the car. It did. I did a lot of research. It came out. The car came out in September of 59. And uh, made the cover of Car Craft Magazine in January 1960. Run, won so many awards and then he finally just displayed the car as not in competition so uh, great car uh, Ed Roth was such an innovator this was his very first car and uh, it was he loved fiberglass this was his first time working in fiberglass and uh, he did a great job and uh, just an iconic show car the um, the engine is a 1950 Cadillac engine, and uh, what I'd read, the whole car when he was done, he had $800 in it, and most of that was in getting stuff chrome-plated because everything on this car was pretty much chrome. Uh, transmission case he took apart, the transmission case was chrome, rear end, you name it, and it got chrome. So I left it all that way. I normally don't like to do all that, but uh, we left everything in chrome. That's the way the car was, so it's a show rod. And uh, we got the body sanded and buffed, and it came out real nice. And uh, we got a lot of clear over it and got those decals buried in the clear. And uh, this exhaust, let me get out my, my pointer. This exhaust right here, these are three separate pieces on each side. And they mount, just like the real car, he had a, mounts into the exhaust over here. And then there's a, exhaust comes out the back also. So he probably had a cutoff valve in here so he could open up the headers. But, uh. Getting those three pieces lined up on both sides, that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I want to do that again. Uh, decals, lots of uh, decal solution to get them to lay down, but uh, they come out good. They're a little thick, but uh, I think the thick kind of work because thin ones might have ended up getting torn. So it's not, uh, it's not bad. Give you a little spin around. This... Uh, this is in two pieces, his nose piece. This grill down here, which is even hard to see that's in there, that was supposed to go in first, which, you know, how are you going to put that in and get everything painted? And it was just that just wasn't going to work for me. But uh, took a little thinking, and I got it figured out where I could get the grill in after it was put together. Um, move Rat Fink here. Let's do this. Pull you over this way. Put you back here. Anyway, there's the other side, but uh, like I said, I did for it, this kid has a lot of very tiny, fiddly parts. Everything's in chrome that needed to stay that way, and uh, it definitely presents a challenge. But uh, we got it. We did wire the engine. That's the only extra added detail I did to the kit, and uh, came out good. They uh, supply you with uh, that is his. Um, tag in California that was on the car so they give you that decal so that's kind of a nice touch you get the uh, the correct tag for it but uh, there you go I think it turned out pretty cool and I want to thank Brent for putting on this group build and uh, invited me to come and join in on it and uh, sent me the rat fink and got him in there he's really cool and it's gonna make a nice display they give you in the kit you get this cool sign for the show car, which I thought was a nice touch, and they also give you a trophy, all of which was like, you know, 
trophies like 10 pieces and this is like three pieces and there was stuff in here had to get filled in so I could get the decal on and it was even building the sign and trophy was a challenge but uh, anyway it turned out cool and uh, another neat little thing let me see if I can do something with this slide this back here they give you the uh, the stanchions like it was at a show so what I've done I've mounted it here in my display case found some cording and turquoise that fit the hole perfect and got that all run and now this is the display case that will sit in my uh, hobby room and uh, the car and sign and trophy I'm gonna get them glued on this base and uh, it'll just sit in there dust free in my little case and it'll look like it's a 1960 show car display just like it would have been so that was kinda nice of them to give you all this extra stuff and uh, it all worked out really nice so that's about all we got and uh, it was a it was a fun build if uh, Brent had to come up with the rat fink idea this car would have probably still be sitting in my stash because I didn't have any plans on building it but uh, I'm glad he did and uh, gave me motivation to build it and uh, it turned out really cool so uh, tell me what you think and uh, a lot of good stuff going on in the community and uh, we're not going to keep you long. We'll put a little slideshow here of the build picks and some final picks of the uh, of the car. And uh, that's all we got. So everybody out there, stay safe, take care. Old Tom, Rambler 69, right here, guys.